Hello everybody, welcome to OCHD and welcome to another Kotodaman video. Uh, I feel like I need to explain what this game is every time because it's so long in between each video. Uh, but basically, this is a gacha game that likes to do a lot of collaborations. Uh, you can see a, a Kamen Rider character on my home screen and obviously there's been a few. There's been a few collaborations at this point. I did skip a couple of them, uh, or not really get involved in a couple of them since the last video, um, mainly because it wasn't stuff I was particularly interested in. I think one of the more recent ones was uh, Ultraman. I think it's Ultraman. I think I got like one character from that. Let me just check. Uh, where is he? There we go. We got like one or two characters from Ultraman. Uh, but I didn't do any summons because I wanted to save because you never know. You never know what series is going to come up next. Uh, and obviously the last time I did a summons video was on the Kimetsu no Yaiba event. And now we are summoning on the Spy Family event. Um, now this event's actually pretty cool because admittedly there's not much in the way of farmables. I think there's four farmables in this event. Uh, but... It, you know, because it's part of the 4.5 anniversary, there's been a lot going on recently. I've been able to get a decent amount of the stones without trying very hard. <laughs> and, you know, it's... It, I don't think... I think of all the events we've had so far, I don't think it would be that big an ask for me to actually max out all of the characters, the free-to-play free, free -to -play characters. So, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, plus, since this uh, Ultraman event came out, it, it, it might have started before that, I don't know. But... We seem to be getting a lot of stones for just clearing events. You can see a lot of the Ultraman free-to-play units I did actually get. <laughs> uh, just because it was saying, clear this stage, get 100. Clear this stage, get 200, whatever. So I was like, well, I, I want the stones, so I guess I'll do it. Uh, and uh, this is, again, this, c carrying on that tradition uh, with, the, with, with the Spy Family event. So the first thing you'll get in this event is Anya. There is multiple versions of Anya. This is the first version you will get. She is a special free-to-play unit where she'll already come max level. And all you've got to do is farm her... I, I, I guess it's just luck. I think it's called Fortune on this game, but it is, it is just luck. And uh, not that hard. Not, <laughs> they made it very, very easy to farm her, her luck. So I've already got her maxed out. One of four farmable units down. And uh, the other three farmable units this is actually quite good. So the game, if you go to here, Spy Family stuff. Sorry, if you go to here and click this, you can see a bar down the bottom with some Spy Family characters on it. If you click that, it just straight up tells you which units from the gacha will be good for getting which of the farmable characters. Um... So you can see the list of gacha characters there. There is a bit, <laughs> there's a bit of a an issue with the fact that Spy Family hasn't been out for that long. Yeah, admittedly, the anime has finished season one now. I think season, I don't know if season two started or it's about to start, but uh, they don't have that much to work with in terms of characters people would actually want to summon for. It's all mainly focused around the Forger family. And indeed, that is the special unit for this event, the Forger family as a single unit. Uh, but there is essentially a five-star Anya, a five-star Yoru, a five-star Lloyd. There is also the spy version and the assassin version for Lloyd and Yoru, which is nice. There is Yuri. And then there is the four-star, which is it's Becky, and then it evolves into Becky and Anya. So kind of good kind of good i think this is going to be a bit of a weird event for me because the forger family is the special unit and the special unit is i i, I couldn't really give you an equivalent but i guess it's sort of like a like a, a muso in jumputi or an lr in dokan um i don't know if that's necessarily in terms of abilities but i can certainly tell you that is true in terms of price uh, with these exchanges that I'm showing you here, you get one of these per summon 
on the Spy Family banner. And so that means if you do a multi, you'll get 10, which means that if you want to get the special unit, you need to do 30 multis, which is quite a lot. Even when they're being as generous as they have been recently, that's still a lot. <laughs> You'd have to save up for quite a while or grind for quite a while. And there's limits to how much you can get free to play. So kind of tough. But my plan was whenever the next collab came along that I wanted to do, that, uh, that it was a series that I liked, I would try and have 15 multis ready. And 15 multis means that even if all my summons are absolute garbage, because by the way, the guarantees on those uh, multis, you're guaranteed one spy family unit per multi. That is it. And there's no guarantee that'll be a five star. So it can literally just be the, the four star Becky and Anya. Well, it's just Becky as the four star. It can just be them every multi and you could just not get anything. Hopefully my odds will be a bit better than that. <laughs> but... We're not really going to chase anything. I don't really know which unit I want to go for in terms of if I'm going to choose one. I I quite like all of them. I think, arguably, I would probably go for Lloyd. And the reason I would go for Lloyd is because if we go back to here and look at the events, you can see down here there is a free-to-play Yoru, which is like her when she's drunk. And if we go in here, there's two more farmables. Uh, one of them is not available yet. Uh, that's Henry. But Damien is there. And of course, I showed you that Anya before you can get for free, which is from this stage. But there's no free Lloyd. So I think I would probably... I, I don't really care about Yuri that much. So if I was going to choose one, I guess I would choose Lloyd. Um... And yeah, so I guess we could just pretty much jump into the summons. Uh, I've wasted enough of your time. Oh my god, too much of your time. Uh, so, let's get started. <laughs> now, I'm slowly learning how the summon animations work. Uh, because they've got a lot of different ones that other games don't really have. And from what I understand, the god animation, I, I think I got it in the Kimitsu no Yaiba event. The God animation basically guarantees, well, I think it does guarantee the best unit on the banner or like the special unit on the banner. So that's what we're looking for. <laughs> but obviously, if it goes gold, that's no good to us. But if it goes rainbow, something to be excited about. Unfortunately, it is gold and I didn't click skip fast enough, which is unfortunate. And yeah, uh, the, the last unit in the multi is going to be Becky. Uh, you already get one copy for free from the event, so you don't even have to summon if you just, if you just wanted her. Uh, she's she's like a mission thing, but uh, not what we're looking for today. We want shooting stars. We got one. I'm pretty sure shooting star is guaranteed five star. That's what we need. Um, and as I've mentioned in previous videos, just because you get five star does not mean you get a spy family unit. They are featured on this banner, but they are not the only five stars. So we got Yot. Could that be Yoru? Could that be... Okay, very good start. Two, Only two multis in. We've already got... <laughs> we've already got a Spy Family unit. Um, we'll take that. We will definitely take that. I would like to get at least one version of Lloyd. I don't really care which version. Either way would be nice. I guess if I could get the yellow one... Because I'm pretty sure the yellow one helps you beat Yoru. And that's the only difficult stage in this event. Uh, but either one would be fine. And I think this is going to be another... <laughs> another... Oh, another dead one! It is. It is. Which is a shame. 15 multis is probably not enough to max out Becky. So I'm not thrilled <laughs> about pulling dupes of her. But... Whatever. <laughs> Uh, oh no! Dude, this is this is the worst. If you get the little chode flower, pretty much all hope is gone. And sadly, we got the little chode flower. So I think we're not expecting anything here. And yeah, it, I don't think I've ever got like a bamboozle off of that that's given me something good. Maybe I'm wrong, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I haven't. Uh, so that's unfortunate. 
That's unfortunate, but uh, what's this? I don't. I actually don't know how many multis I am deep. How many do I have to have left over at the end? 3,000 and something. Go remember that. We don't want to over go too far over because we need to save those gems. Oh, five stars straight away. Let's go. Uh, I was thinking that maybe the next collab would be Chainsaw Man on this because the anime had just come out. Sadly, Monster Strike got the Chainsaw Man collaboration, but Spy Family is still pretty damn good. Okay, we got E. I don't think that's anyone from this. I don't think that's anyone from this. Oh! It is! <laughs> it's the other version of of Yoru. It's the... I can't remember what it's called. The Briar Princess or whatever. Okay, we'll take it. We will take it. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. So the, the the biggest disappointment you can get, well, obviously the chode flower doesn't help, but the biggest disappointment you can get is the I got a five star, and then it's just some random character you've never seen before you in your life, and you're just like, yeah, that's that's not fun. I kind of wish they had guaranteed steps along the way, but I guess their argument would be, you know, you get the you, you do enough multis, you just get to choose the unit. But 30, do you know how often they do these collab events? 30 multis is a lot. Okay, this is a guaranteed five star, but that is, the flower is not only all the way open, it's actually glowing a little bit. There's like a red glow. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. And obviously there's lots of text. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Maybe that's more than one five star, I don't know. One. Just the one, and I'm guessing that's going to be Yoru again. It is. We're, we're doing all... We're going to have three versions of her by the end of this event. Uh, but so far, no Lloyd, which is a shame, because like I said, <laughs> the only one you don't get for free. You also... Bond, the dog, is only available from the, from the special unit. But realistically, I'm not expecting to get that. Uh, we have got a guaranteed five star. Probably just one. But we could get lucky. We could get lucky. One. Just the one. Tut. I don't know. I don't know. Oh! I'm trying to remember what his... It's Twilight. It's tough for Twilight. Okay, yes, yes. Very good. Very, very good. I couldn't remember what his code name was. You know, one thing that I, I I can't really hate the game for it because the game's not necessarily marketed at me. One of the things you have to do for the to get the special, there's like a bingo card and you have to check off points on the bingo card. There's this special stage you have to beat and it just asks you questions in Japanese. And one of the questions was like, what's Lloyd's uh, code name? And I'm just like desperately scrambling because there's not only... Is it like, you? if you try and take a screenshot and back out, it'll just kill your run. It'll say, no, 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 you're trying to cheat. And if, you, if you're not quick enough, it just it just puts in the wrong answer. It just skips you. So you've got like a time limit and everything. It's torture. I don't know Japanese. It's, it's difficult. But all you had to do to tick off the bingo car was get two right. And I got lucky. I got two questions that I knew the answer to. Like, I could read just enough. Like, I think one of them was like, what's Anya's favorite food? And I was like, oh, thank God. I can, I can do peanuts. I can spell peanuts. Oh, we actually did. Oh, this could be Yuri. This could be Yuri. Let's go. We've gotten lucky. I skipped it because I got the little chode flower. But we did actually get a five star. So there you go. Proof that you can get a five star on the chode flower. Um... But yeah, the, the questions bit is definitely the hardest part of the game. <laughs> no, there's definitely some really difficult stages that I can't beat. Uh, but it's just, I'm a bit hard-headed about using the uh, the collaboration units. Because they're the ones I care about, you know. There's some stages literally just changing one character and you can beat it. And there's others where you need a very specific build. I mean, I guess it's the same in like every gacha game. Uh, you know, I can't really talk... Jumpooty's just released like a, a new event that it's like you need very, very, very specific units to even stand a chance. And uh, look, I mean, uh, this game, I'm just happy to get copies of the characters. Like I'm not, I'm not tryharding at all. So just having a bit of fun.
I think we're about halfway through it. We got the moon, which is huge. We got multiple shooting stars. We got the flower all the way open. This is a big, big summon. Started off rainbow as well. I'm feeling like this could be a multiple. I don't, I don't know if the moon means multiple, but I feel like this could be a multiple. Let's see. One, two, three. Three. I think that would be Yuri straight away. Okay. I mean, we've got like one of each now. Pretty well. Anya, I guess we don't have. And the, the, the family one. Ma. What could Ma be? Some demon thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's a dupe, sadly. Uh, and Ka, I don't know. I don't know. See, this is, this is what I was talking about. We've been very, very fortunate so far to actually get some of the Spy Family units. Interestingly, I just got, like, some blue... Some of the blue item, which I think means one of the units here are, like, a special unit. That might be for Yuri, though. I'm not sure. But that's like an exchange item for like if you pull dupes of a five star or whatever to help you uh to buy one that's like new or what or like dupes of a one that's good <laughs> um which I, red red and shooting stars have i had the red moon maybe i don't know i don't know if i've had the red moon People who have watched the videos will probably remember if I have. I genuinely don't remember. But surely that's good, right? One, two, three, four. Ah, who's Anya? Let's go. Very nice. Ma is probably just going to be some other random unit. It's the same one! <laughs> What are the chances? There's so many five stars in this game. Who the hell? That's rot. That's got to be Lloyd, right? That's got to be Lloyd. Yes. I think that's the one I wanted the most. The yellow Lloyd. He's going to help me beat the, uh, the the Yoru stage. So I'm pretty happy about that. And this will be Yuri again. Do I have them all except the special unit? I must do now, right? I do. All right. Okay. I think that green little demon thing... Yeah, the little green demon thing is like a special unit of some kind. <laughs> it's given me, like, bonus currency for it. And I don't even really... Okay. <laughs> okay. So we've got three multis left to get a guaranteed five star, but... Like, do I... Do I even want to do that? Because I've got all of... I've, I have all of these. Except for the special unit, so I'd only be summoning for that pretty much. Well, okay, let's. Fuck it. <laughs> Maybe we'll get the special unit, you never know. Uh, Cherry Flower, not a good start. Hopefully, some crazy collab doesn't come too soon after this. And that's a dead multi. We haven't got many copies of Becky outside of the guarantee, which is a shame because it just means there's absolutely no way we're going to get to max luck because I'm not <laughs> I'm not chasing. Actually, what's her max luck? Is it 75? I can't remember. If it's 75, maybe we're okay. We still might not get there. <laughs> um, another dead multi. Okay. Oh, we could get bamboozled. We did get bamboozled before. No, nope, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I should skip if I get the little chode flower. Maybe that'll give me a chance. 71. I think I'll be like one short of max maxing her out. Or, no, I think I... If she maxes at 75, I'll max her out. But I don't know that she does. It might be higher. Um, so this is the last multi. Our last chance to get the Forger family... Shooting stars on a little cherry flower. That could be good. Gone rainbow straight away. More than one would be ideal. We got more than one. Oh, uh, re. Uh, that's. Who is that? It's. Some. Some dude. <laughs> and this. 
Uh, this is going to be Yoru again. So that's a shame. That is a shame. Oh, we did get an extra copy of Becky. Oh, I think that does mean we maxed her out. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, so we've gotten pretty much what we can from this. If you're wondering about dupes on like the five star characters, there is a value to it. Uh, but with how casually I play the game, it's not it's not really necessary. Um, oh yeah, this is one thing that annoyed me. They opened up a... I unlocked a new daily mission because I got to a certain level. You can see in the mission explanation it says only available to people over level 80. I only just got to level 80. And it's like, get 40 stones. I was like, cool. And it's for this game mode here that's blacked out. It's not even open at the moment. Like, Why is the daily mission there? That's really annoying. Um, so we can go to this exchange now. Here is the interesting part. I have 150, which means I can guarantee any of these units. But as you can see, I already have all of these units. But if we scroll down here, I could purchase another three multis here or another two guaranteed five stars. I'm going to purchase three more multis. I'm going to purchase three more multis. If I, I mean, I have all of them, so... I might as well, right? And then if I can get the special unit off of this, class. And realistically, seeing as I have all of them, anything I purchase would be a dupe. Surely I get at least one five star from these three multis. So it doesn't matter which one I get a dupe of. So but fuck it. The, the flower's partially open. There was some text. There's a shooting star. I'm pretty sure that's a guaranteed five star. But again, not guaranteed to be a spy family. Five star. We did get one. Top. I don't know what toys. <laughs> That's going to be something random. Some. Some kind of ghost demon thing. I don't know. Not. <laughs> not ideal. But like I said. Doesn't really matter what we get. This is, just, this is kind of just gravy. So. And I think that was a special unit again because it came up in blue. I got the blue special item. I don't know how special they are. They might not be that special, but uh, still very nice. Uh, it's dead. Okay, never mind. We got more dupes of... Oh, wait, what? We actually got a four star I don't have? I... Okay, I guess that's been added recently, maybe? Or somehow I've been playing this game for like over a thousand days and I've never got them, but whatever. Uh, so we got one more multi. It's rare that I get to do this with the extra currency because normally there's a few more gacha units. There's a... This is definitely a five star. We didn't get the god animation today. I'm, I'm sorry, lads. We didn't get the god animation. Not to say that it's impossible the unit couldn't be in here. We could still get the Forger family. Oh, there's three in there. I don't think any of those is the is the Hiragana for the Forger family, though. It's some kind of robot lady, I think. Ta? I don't know what Ta is. Oh, it was the Twilight. I forgot again. Twilight. Very nice. And Anya. You see? You see? Do you see how big my fucking brain is? Because if I pulled one of those units from the 150, that's just one dupe. But I instead got three multis worth of units, and I ended up getting two Spy Family dupes. It's just god tier, really. Anyway, if you do want to get involved, I will link in the description, Kuap Kotodaman, for anybody that wants to play. If you want to download it on iOS, you're going to need a Japanese iOS App Store account. Um, and if you want help playing the game, don't ask me. Because it's, <laughs> it's very, very difficult if you cannot read Hiragana. Um, and even if you can read Hiragana, if, you're, if your Japanese abilities beyond that point are not very well developed like my own... Uh, you're probably going to have a bit of a tough time, but you can probably still beat some of the easier stages. You could pick up a few things here and there. Um, but maybe potentially a learning tool for anybody who's trying to get a better grip on Hiragana. 
Um, but yeah, we've done all right today. That's going to do it for this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you whenever the next Kotodaman collab happens to come around.